The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, fifteenth chapter, text number thirty three, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on December eleventh, nineteen seventy three, in Los Angeles. Translation Kunti after overhearing Arjuna's telling of the end of the Yadu dynasty and disappearance of Lord Krishna, engaged in the devotional service of the transcendental personality of Godhead with full attention and thus gained release from the course of material existence. <clears throat> so, Krishna has got two kinds of existence. Prakat and aprakat. Prakat means when you see Krishna personally, when Krishna is present on this planet, everyone can see Krishna. <coughs> and actually, everyone saw. But only the devotees could understand that here is the Supreme Personality of God. Eh? So that is called prakat, physically present. And there is another phase which is called aprakat, not physically present. But that does not mean Krishna is dead or God is dead. It's not, that does not mean. Prakat or aprakat, physically present or not present, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> so, after all, he is adhokhaja. This word is used. Adha. Adha means subdued. And akha. Akha means eyes or senses. Akhaja. Ja means generated. <clears throat> so, our senses are there, eyes, ears, hands, legs, nose, so many sen ten senses are there. So we are acquiring knowledge, generated. Knowledge is generated from the senses. But so long our senses are materially contaminated, we do not get real knowledge. We have to acquire knowledge through the senses. But unless our senses are purified, we do not have real knowledge. So we cannot appreciate or understand God, His form, His name, his quality, his pastime, his entourage, nothing of them. We can understand by our these more uh, present material senses. That is not therefore his name is Adhuk Adha. <coughs> Adha. Adha means cut down. You cannot approach the Supreme by your these blunt material senses. That is not Therefore his name is Adhokhaya. Adhakrita Akhaja Gyanam Jatra. The Adhakaja and Gyan means experimental knowledge. Just like the modern scientists, uh, they believe in experimental knowledge. But they are so rascal. In their own case, they will say, yes, we are trying. Uh, in future it will be successful. Why not experimental knowledge now? Uh, if you say that life is generated from matter, you are writing so many books and getting Nobel Prize, why not by experimental knowledge prove that here are some matters and chemicals and here is life? Uh, that is we will try. This is the escape. Actually, science means two things, observation 
and experience. If you do not experiment practically in the laboratory, simply observation is not sufficient. That is not science. That is theory. <clears throat> anyway, this experimental knowledge is not very helpful in the matter of understanding the Supreme. Experimental knowledge there is, but not by these blunt senses. When these senses are uh, purified, then that experimental knowledge, that is, means spiritual experimental knowledge, that is perfect. Therefore it is says, adhokhaya. And our Krishna consciousness movement is to understand that adhokhaya. Adhokhaja means it is beyond the perception of this material sense. This is our subject matter. Our subject matter is not uh, anything material. Material is within the purview of my material senses. But our subject matter is beyond the senses. Adhokhaja, therefore, we say. Adhokhaja. Just like Kunti and others, Krishna was not present before their eyes. Krishna has already gone, it is above. But still it is said that ekanta <clears throat> bhaktya bhagavati adhokhaji. Adhokhaji. The same word is. But if you cannot see God now, how there can be ekanta bhakti? Ekanta bhakti means unalloyed devotion. This is the secret of devotional life. Even God is not physically present, a devotee can be very much exalted by devotional service. That is the teaching of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because uh, the sahajyas, sahajyas means persons who take things very easily, uh, according to his sense perception, manufacture, they are called sahajyas. But uh, these Gauriya Vaishna, the devotees following the footprints of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they are not sahajyas. They are devotees of the adhokhaja. Beyond the sense perception, still they are devotees. This is the secret of God uh, Beyond the sense perception. Uh, just like Goswamis, they were living at Vrindavan. And what sort of living? Simply a separation and search. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also taught us like that. He was uh, <coughs> searching, where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? And feeling separation. Just like you feel sometimes with your lover separation and you search. This is our process. Always feel separation from Krishna and try to search out. Uh, this is ekanta. This is expressed here. Ekanta bhaktya bhagavati adhokhaji. Adhokhaji is beyond my perception. Still, my devotion is unalloyed. Not that I cannot see where is God. Uh, what is devotion? Let's try it. To understand. It, it appears to be contradictory. The, because foolish people say that if you cannot see God, where is the question of devotion? Eh? If you want to serve God, but if you cannot see God, then how you can serve? Eh? Therefore, particularly this word is used, ekanta bhaktya bhagavati adhokhaji Niveshika Atmopura Rama Samisiti. 
That is the process. Uh, so, uh, even though we cannot see God with our present eyes, but God is so merciful that He becomes present before us in a manner by which we can see Him. That is this, vigra or chavigra. Uh, God is beyond our sensual perception, adhokhaya. Uh, but those who are neophyte, uh, they uh, may become atheists that we cannot see God, that how can I serve Him? But those who are advanced, they can see God every moment, although physically others cannot see. The example is that Hiranyakasipu and Prahla. Uh, Prahla is seeing God, but his father, he is asking, where is your God? Where is your God? You are saying to the column, uh, pillar, is there your God there? But he is seeing God there. He says, yes. So he became angry, he broke the column, and actually God came out. So it is the question of advancement. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his followers taught us that if you feel separation, how you will feel separation unless you love? And you simply worship the Supreme in a feeling of separation, then that is perfection. Then that is perfection. Therefore, the Goswamis, their prayer, their method of worshipping the Lord at Vrindavan, they, they left their ministerial post and went to Vrindavan by the order of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, what was the process? The process was tatya thūrnamase samannalapati saneṃ sadā tūcava. They gave us their materialistic way of life. It's very insignificant. They are ministers. Uh, they are ministers, they are associates, they are very big, big men. But tatva thūrnam asesa mandalapati. Mandalapati means leaders. Leaders of the society, polit- big, big politicians, businessmen, uh, important men. Because they were minister, everyone used to come to see, and they were associated with them. But they give up. Kakva Thurnamasi Samandalapati Sani. How he gave, it was given, Sada Tuchva, there is insignificant. What is it? There is no need. And Bhutva Dina Gane Sakokan, why? Why they gave it up? Because they thought, under the instruction of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they understood that so many mass of people are suffering without Krishna consciousness. So we have to do something for them. Therefore they gave up. Not a fancy, I become naked. What is the use of your becoming naked? You must do something. Uh, that is Krishna consciousness. Uh, not that I have become a mendicant. <coughs> I have given up all material things. You cannot give material things. In this coat pant, you may have a, a shabby cloth. That's all. You cannot give up. That is not possible. You have to accept something. But they are thinking that because I have given up this coat pant and I have now a shabby dress, I have become advanced. Uh, not that. You must have some positive engagement. Uh, that is, we find in the life of Goswami. Takva turnamasi samandalapati sanin sada tuchva bhutya dhinagani sakau karunaya kopi na kanthasit. Kopi na kanthasito, loin cloth only. Many minimizing the bodily necessities of life. Uh, because uh, they are prepared, dīnagane sakau karunaya, to give mercy to the mass of people. Uh, 
mass of people. If you become so much dependent on the bodily necessities of life, then you cannot become fully and wholly for the benefit of the mass of people. Oh. And our Gandhi, he imitated this for the mass of people, but that was to extend, to a certain extent successful. But it was political purpose. It was political purpose. These things are not for any material purpose. Then it will be failure. Uh, if you imitate a spiritual life for material benefit, then it will be failure. Uh, so the Goswami did not do so. They gave up this material opulence for spiritual advance. Positive. If you don't uh, get something positive simply by negative process, you will never be happy. Then again you will fall down. Just like big, big shamis in India, sometimes they come to your country also, they say that this world is false. Jagad mithya. Mithya. But we don't say that it is false. We say it is reality, but temporary. That is right philosophy. How it can be false? Because everything is produced by the truth, by the absolute truth. Janmadha sajata. Huh? Nothing can come out except from the absolute truth. Krishna says, Aham sarvasya prabhava. I am the origin of everything. The Krishna is true, he is the origin of everything. So how everything can be false? Is that very logical? No. If something has come from gold, uh, just like we have got so many preparation of gold, gold bangles, gold earring, gold necklace, but it has come from the gold, therefore it is gold, now it can be false. Gold is never false. Gold is gold. So this philosophy that Brahma Sattva Jagan Mitya, the gold mine is right, but the gold earring is wrong. No, that you cannot see. If gold mine is right, then gold earring is also right, because it has come from the gold mine. Similarly, Krishna says that Aham sarvasya prabhava. I am the origin of everything. And the Vedanta Sutra also says, Dharma adhasya jataha. Absolute truth is there from whom everything emanates. So everything has emanated from Krishna. The how this material world can be false? It is true. Then what is that false? It is not false, it is temporary. But the idea that this material world is for my enjoyment, that is false. That is false. As soon as you take things that it is for my enjoyment, then it is false. Because you cannot enjoy, you are not the proprietor. God is the problem. Why the trouble? Why the problem for the world? Because people are taking things for their enjoyment. Why this petrol problem? Actually, that petrol, stock of petrol in any part of the world, that is God's property. But these rascals, they are claiming that my property. That is false. Neither the petrol is false, neither God is false, everything is right, but this conception that this petrol belongs to me, this is false. And as soon as this false conception is more, that is Krishna consciousness. Very simple thing. So we are trying to remove this rascal's false conception, that is Krishna consciousness.
we don't say that this world is false. Why this world is false? It is not false. It is fact. It may be temporary, but it is fact. Just like this winter season, it will not stay. It will be for three months. Again, summer season will come. So we cannot say that this winter season is false. No, it is not false. It is fact. But it is temporary. So temporary things, although it is it is real. So if we can utilize that reality, sense of reality, for the supreme reality, uh, then our life is successful. That is called ekanta bhaktiya. That is stated here. Ekanta bhaktiya bhagavati adhokhaje. Ekanta bhaktiya. Ekanta means without any diversion. Uh, everything, ishava, samide, or thinking, that everything belongs to Krishna. Uh, why shall I use it for my personal sense gratification? This is called ekanta bhakti. Eka. Eka. Eka me bhavadityam. Eka. Krishna is one. There cannot be any competition of Krishna. Uh, eka anta. That one end, bhakti, serving, that supreme, ekanta bhakti. Ananda bhav, bhajati imam ananda bhav, sadhuriva samantabha, apite sukurachara, bhajati imam ananda bhav. That ananda bhav means simply concentrated to Krishna, that is required. That devotion. Uh, in any circumstances, it doesn't matter whether Krishna is personal, Krishna is present, but because we want to see with our material eyes, therefore we uh, claim this, that I want to see Krishna. He does not accept that he has no eyes to see Krishna, but with his blunt eyes he wants to see Krishna. That is, that one his name is Adhokhaji. Krishna is there. That sun is there in the sky, but the person who is in darkness at night, he wants to see sun. He is in darkness. Otherwise, one who can fly from this country to other country, he can see immediately. The sun is there. Sun is everywhere, but my eyes are being covered by maya. I cannot see. Therefore he is called Adhokhaja. Uh, Adhokhaja. So Krishna consciousness movement is to understand that Adhokhaja. Uh, and that is Bhagavat Dharma. Sabai Pungshan Paro Dharma. Jato Bhakti Adhokhaja. Not to become a rascal that here is the avatar of Krishna. Let us go and see. One who can see Krishna. He can see Krishna everywhere. He can see Krishna here. Uh, why one should go to a rascal, another rascal? Uh, no, that is not. Therefore Krishna is Adhokha. Uh, <clears throat> there are so many things to be learned. Uh, everything is there in the authoritative scripture. If we take advantage of this bow, we are taking so much labor to present. Uh, you can understand the science of Krishna very perfectly, and your life becomes successful. Uh, it is not the question of seeing Krishna personally or no. Krishna is personally present everywhere. Simply you have to purify your eyes to see Krishna. That is one. That is the process of Krishna consciousness. Sarvapadhi minin muktam tat paratena nirvalam. This is the process. You have to be above the designation. Sarvapadhi minin muktam. In this way, you have to become purified, nirvalam. Nirvalam, malam means dirt. And nir means no dirt. Sarvapadhi minin muktam tat paratena nirvalam. Rishikena, Rishikesa, Sevanam Bhakti Richa. In this way, 
when your senses will be purified, then uh, you will be eligible to serve Krishna. Rishikina or Rishiki is of Seva. Because Krishna is the proprietor of the sense. He is the proprietor of everything. So our senses, as we claim, this is my hand. Actually, this is not my hand. It is Krishna's hand. Krishna has given me to use it. Therefore, this hand, just like uh, my hand, is utilized for my benefit. I am not using this hand for your benefit. This is natural. I have my hands, my legs, my eyes are used for my purpose. So if it is actually Krishna's hand, how it can be used for your purpose? So when you learn this science, that this hand I am claiming, it is not my hand, it is Krishna's hand, it should be utilized for Krishna, that is Krishna consciousness. That is Krishna consciousness. So that we have to learn by the process eh, as is Eganta Bhaktya Bhagavati Adak. Then what is the benefit? Niveshita Atma Upara Rama Sangsite. If you can utilize your senses for the service of Adhokhaja beyond your sense perception, if you adopt that method, then the benefit will be nivesita atma, fully absorbed in Krishna consciousness, all of it. That is very easy, uh, but those who are not doing it, for them it is very difficult. Krishna says, he gives the prescription uh, that satatang chintayantang ma, always thinking of manmana bhavamad bhakta, here is the chance uh, to come to the temple, uh, engage in the temple service. Naturally, in mind will be absorbed in Krishna. Uh, this temple is open not far, making a farce, just to make this process. Nivesita atma. Always absorb in Krishna thought. That is the process. Always, twenty-four hours. Kirtaniya uh, sadahari. This is the process. Uh, twenty-four hours we shall be engaged. Not that five minutes meditation and then uh, twenty-three hours and forty minutes engaged in other business. No. Twenty-four hours engaged in Krishna's business. That is called Nivesita Atma. Then what will be the result? Na. Upara Rama Sangasite. Upara Rama means then you become, you cease from this reputation of birth and death. This will be the result. This is the actual aim of human life. Uh, Animal life and human life, this is the difference. We repeatedly say the animal cannot understand, neither they can perform. How to check birth, death, old age? That is not possible for the animal. But human being can do that. Taktadi hang punar janmanaiti. What is that process? Nivesita atma. Always be absorbed in Krishna thought. And you are saved from this reputation of birth, death, and all. Thank you very much.